All right, we got an American Standard package unit here. They say it isn't working. Here at a chicken plant in Delaware. A lot of noise going on, so bear with me. Well, it's not running at all. Nothing. I don't think I hear a blower or anything. So, first things first, see if we got power. All right, we got two sets of power that come in here, but only one conduit. Maybe they come off the same line. So we got one going to this heater pack here, right there. Then we got one that goes up to our compressor contactor. So let's check up here. All right, so between there and there, we got 234. So we know we're good on low voltage. Oh, I'm sorry, high voltage. Right, well, I went inside to see if the thermostat was on it wasn't but our filter's pretty plugged it wasn't even changed that long ago this is a very high traffic area though uh high foot traffic a lot of employees are in and out of here so i am not surprised that that got that that clogged in a month but it was also 67 degrees in there all right it came on i turned it on it came on because they're where this unit services just through the door there is a enormous cooler where they ship and receive stuff so i think that takes care of a, a lot of the cooling like you get like it's a, it's actually cold when you walk in there so i'm not sure but we're, we'll dig into this bad boy and see what what's really going on huh somebody has put one of these this does not look like an original motor i think this is one of those universal ecms this freaking thing's working man i honestly don't see what's wrong with this system it looks like it might have a leak or something here but it's it's running really good problem here that plant's so big with so many maintenance people nobody knows anything and the guy i talked to didn't even know it was down but he showed me the unit of the area they said was not working so looks like we got a lot of oil here so we'll leak we'll leak search this this right here The weird thing about this is though it actually is working pretty good even with that leaking there maybe somebody put some charge in it this thing seems to be working good i mean i don't i don't understand here well but we'll probe up on her and see uh see if we see anything I mean, this filter might have been the whole problem. So I can see sunlight through most of it, but right in this center part here where it draws the air in, I can't see nothing through that. And it was even sucked up into the filter grill. So I got a filter on my truck. I'll go ahead and throw one in there. It's not a pleated, but at least it'll be something. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is change this valve core and it is leaking pretty bad. She had a pretty significant hiss when I took it off, when I took the cap off. And I can see the oil actually bubbling out of it right now. See if I can get that focus. Yeah, you can see a little bit of bubbling going on in that oil. I've said this in other videos before. If you have a valve core on a hot gas line, which this is, you should be changing that every time you do a PM on it or every time you work on it because those fail very easily. It just can't, it can't stand, look. Oh, I haven't even tried to take it off yet. That thing's leaking pretty bad. So they fail they on hot gas lines they fail 
you know it is what it is Let's see if i got her it didn't feel too promising oh i did get her <laughs> Put a new one in her. All right, new valve core. Back in she goes. All right, our leak has went away. We'll get a good cap on there too. But first, we're going to hook the probes up and see how this thing really is running. Hey yeah, guys, this thing is kicking ass. We have a 43 supply, 64 return, so we got a 21 degree split. Eight degrees of superheat, four degrees of subcooling. Well, we'll monitor it for a little while longer. Oh, well, I walked to my truck came back i guess somebody either turned it off or it's satisfied i doubt it's satisfied because i had it set at 55 <laughs> so they probably cut it off all right we got we're unprobed now we got us a new brass cap on there new schrader core i think this one's good yeah just a quick one today guys um did a lot of pm today which is going to be a lot of what i'm going to be doing in the coming weeks I'm um, doing a ton of PMs. So, um, yeah, just a quick one. Um, I, I'm thinking what happened there because apparently they had called that in a few days ago. Um, it probably, with the dirty filter, froze up. And um, then it eventually thawed out. I mean, I'm not sure. I, I, but I couldn't find anything else wrong with it besides that dirty filter. So, um, yeah. Got it straightened out. You know, sometimes it's easy. We'll take the easy ones, right? All right, guys, that's it for this one. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And catch you on the next one.